Now let's kick start this chapter with a very important theorem called the basic proportionality theorem. Well, it is called basic, but it has a lot of applications. And that is exactly why you have to understand this theorem really well to be able to solve problems based on triangles. So the basic proportionality theorem says that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other sides in distinct points, then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. I know it is difficult to understand the statement of BPT or the basic proportionality theorem when you listen to it in one go. So let's break it down into a more understandable form by taking an example. Since it is a theorem based on triangles, our first step would be to draw a triangle ABC. Next, the statement reads that a line is drawn parallel to one side of the triangle. Let's say we choose this side as BC. And so we will have to draw a line that is parallel to BC, as you can see here. And this line that is drawn parallel to BC is set to intersect the other two sides of the triangle, right? So apart from BC, what are the other two sides of the triangle that we have here? If you look at the triangle, you will see that one side is AB and the other is AC. Let this line that is parallel to BC intersect AB at point D and AC at point E. And so we have DE parallel to BC, right? Now, what we have to prove is that this line divides the sides in an equal ratio. We can see that this line divides AB into two parts, AD and DB. At the same time, it divides AC into two parts, AE and EC. So we have to prove that AD upon DB is equal to AE upon EC. And that would be the basic proportionality theorem or BPT. Let's do this. Well, first join BE and CD. This gives us two triangles BDE and CED, which we will use in our proof. Next, we'll draw DM perpendicular to AC and EN perpendicular to AB. And if you consider the triangle ADE, then DM and EN are called the altitudes or the heights of the triangle. In fact, if we consider the triangles BDE and CED, then we can see that EN is the height of the triangle BDE, while DM is the height of the triangle CED. Now we know that the areas of a triangle is calculated as half into base into height. So if we had to calculate the area of triangle ADE, it would be half into base into height. First, let's consider the base as AD. And so the corresponding height would be EN, which gives us area of triangle ADE is equal to half AD into EN. Let's label this as statement 1. Similarly, we can calculate the area of triangle BDE by considering the base as BD and the height as EN. That will give us area of the triangle BDE is equal to half into BD into EN. Now consider triangle ADE again. If we now consider the base as AE, then the corresponding height is DM, right? And that will give us its area as half into AE into DM. We will label this as statement number 2. And finally, for triangle DEC, we will consider the base as EC for which the corresponding height is DM. So, we get its area as half into EC into DM. Now, we will first take the ratio of area of triangle ADE as per statement 1 and the area of triangle BDE. So, we get area of triangle ADE upon area of triangle BDE is equal to half into AD into EN upon half into BD into EN. Now half and EN get cancelled from the numerator and denominator. So we are only left with AD upon DB. And so we get the ratio of the areas of triangle ADE and triangle BDE as AD upon BD. Let's call this statement number 3. 
Similarly, if we calculated the ratio of area of triangle ADE as per statement 2 upon the area of triangle DEC, we would get it as half into AE into DM upon half into EC into DM. Again, after cancelling out half and DM from the numerator and the denominator, we get the ratio of the areas of triangle ADE and triangle DEC as AE upon EC. We label this as statement number 4. Now we know that DE is parallel to BC, right? So they are both separated by a constant distance which we will call H. That is H is the distance between the parallel lines BC and DE. But if you see here, H is also the height of the triangles BDE and CED. With that, if we now consider the base as DE and the height as H, we get the area of triangle BDE as half into DE into H. In fact, even the area of triangle CED will be equal to half into DE into H. Clearly, area of triangle BDE is equal to area of triangle CED. So, can we take the reciprocals on both the sides of the equation and say 1 upon area of triangle BDE is equal to 1 upon area of triangle CED? Yes? And now, let's multiply the area of triangle ADE on both the sides of the equation. That gives us area of triangle ADE upon area of triangle BDE is equal to area of triangle ADE upon area of triangle CED. But by statement number 3 and 4, we already know the ratios of these areas on the LHS and RHS of the equation, don't we? So, we can substitute them and get AD upon BD is equal to AE upon EC. And isn't that exactly what we want to prove? So with that, we have successfully proved the basic proportionality theorem or BPT. And so to get a really good understanding of how these theorems are applied, you should pick up more challenging problems on BPT and try to solve them. Tutamate. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.